Okay, so you can see here we've got a very simple local area network. We've only got two end devices. We've got no switches. We've got no routers or anything like that. So I yeah, just dragged out two notebook computers. We've got one cable connecting them directly. You can see if I select this one here, this one has got the IP address 192.168.0.10. For this example, I've chosen to use the MAC address as the name. So the media access control, uh, we've got a, a unique address for every network device uh, that's inside this computer that shouldn't change. So, and then this one here, I've done the same as well. So the MAC address is tied to a specific piece of hardware and a specific device. It never changes. And an IP address can change. It depends on the location of the device. Like if you're connected in Starbucks or if you're connected at work, then your IP address will change, but your MAC address doesn't. And if we're communicating over a local area network, uh, then the protocol Ethernet makes use of the MAC addresses. So although for the majority of our network communications, we would use the internet protocol because we're generally making use of the internet, um, when we're using local area networks, then we're actually, um, commun they're actually using the MAC addresses to, uh, to enable them to communicate. So if I go to the play mode here and just click on this computer, you can see it's already got the command line installed. So if I just go to the command line for this command line, fact, let's drag it up here. Okay, so if I go, um, if I type arp-a, uh, that shows me um, the table, which is in memory on this laptop computer, um, of a table which shows the, um, the, the connection between an IP address and the physical IP, uh, the physical address that is currently um, matched um, with that IP address. And there is nothing in the table apart from the broadcast address at the moment, because the broadcast address, if you remember, broadcasts a message to everything. So actually, because I've just started this simulation, this computer at the moment doesn't know that this one exists. Um, so what we could do is if we go to, uh, if we type ping, uh, what was it, 192.168.0.10, zero dot uh, 11 I think it was okay so this is obviously an IP address so when we press enter this computer is going to get say hmm um, there's an IP address here uh, but I need to know the the MAC address of this computer to enable me to communicate with it on a um, local uh, area network so if I press this you'll see the green line flashes so it's actually found that computer so we know it knows where it is uh, because, well, it's very difficult for it not to know where it is when it's the only thing connected to it on the end of the cable. But now if I type ARP-A, we can see now uh, that it has associated an IP address with a MAC address. So we can see 47 hexadecimal here, 472C93, blah, blah, blah. And we can see that that corresponds to the, the MAC address of the computer. So now the, this machine has learned and is building up a table of all of the associated IP addresses that it's been asked to connect to and the actual physical address so it knows um, where to send uh, the associated uh, frames of data. So, okay, so we've done that. So actually what we can do is if I do a right click on this computer, uh, I've got this option to show data exchange. So if I click on show data exchange, it actually shows you uh, the exchange of frames or packets or segments or whatever we want to call them uh, between the two computers. Uh, so they're in sort of chronological order. Tells us which protocol was being used. So we can see uh, this was the first one here. Um, and it, was, it tells us that it was using the address resolution protocol. Um, and we can actually have a look at the contents. And we can actually see... Uh, so it turns it black when it's the one that's highlighted. So it actually breaks it down into layers, so like which layer was being used. Now, it doesn't go into as much detail as the, the OSI model actually is with its seven layers. Uh, and that's, well, again, because perhaps it's, uh, you know, it's a relatively basic piece of software. Um, but we have to remember as well that the OSI model is just a conceptual model. So it's just a guide um, to, allow us to, to allow us to allow network manuf uh, hardware manufacturers to sort of um, produce things that work at a certain like layer of, uh, of complexity or uh, of abstraction, whatever you want to call it. 
So you can see here the first thing that this computer tried to do when we tried to ping uh, the other computer, which is hidden, is it, tried, it, it sent out a message using the ARP protocol. Uh, and it, it was doing a search for a specific uh, MAC address. It said, what's the MAC address for 192.168.0.11? And so this, uh, the source was this uh, this one here. You can see it sent out a broadcast because it knows it's, it's got a broadcast uh, MAC address address in its um, ARP table to start with. And then uh, the source um, at the internet layer was uh, 192.168.0.10, which is the IP address which this is configured to. Destination was 11 and the protocol was R. And so it says, uh, which computer, what computer has got this IP address? And, and what's your... What's your uh, MAC address? So then we can see the next thing down is the reply. So we can see here uh, we've got uh, source 472C, which is this one, destination. So it's sending it back. It's its reply. And it's saying, uh, hey, look, look what the comment, the, the, the part of that uh, message is what the MAC address is. So once it's got the MAC address, uh, then uh, it's, it's good to go. It can, it can then carry on doing uh, what, it, what it was trying to do, which was to try and do a ping. So you can see here we've gone from ARP to ARP, and now we're into ICMP. So here, now you can see it's uh, sending uh, from the source to the destination. Um, it's communicating with it at the network layer using the uh, MAC address. Now, the ICMP um, is a, like a, an internet uh, layer um, on higher um, protocol. So it's expecting to use the IP addresses, which is what it works on, because we tried to ping 192.168.0.11. Uh, and you can see here that it's sending out the ping. So you can see uh, the echo request. So that's the request going out. And this is the reply that's going back from, from this machine. Uh, and we know that it does it four times. So we've got the request and the reply, that's one. We've got the request and the reply, that's two. We've got the request and the reply, that's three. And then we've got the request and the reply, and that's four. So you can see here um, how like address resolution protocol uh, actually works. So have a play around with that. You could even try adding some of the machines and putting a switch in the middle. Have a play around, see if you can actually uh, construct this uh, network.